Listen and practice. Track 44. And now for some local news. When the receptionist arrived at Goodmead Primary School on Monday, she found that someone had broken into the office and stolen several laptops, so she called the police. They came to look at the crime scene straight away and advised her to make sure she locked up the office every evening in future. They also suggested that she should watch out for any strangers nearby. Two days later, the police called to say that they had caught the thieves and arrested them. They said they would take them to court in the next few days. Track 46. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me to talk to you today. I like speaking to students, especially when there's a chance of making their lives a bit safer. Just to start, does anyone know what the most common crime is? No? Well, theft is the most common crime in the UK. There are various kinds of theft. For instance, robbery. When a thief takes something away from someone personally, like when you're walking in the street and someone grabs your handbag or your mobile and runs away, that's robbery. Another form of theft is burglary, when a thief breaks into your house and steals your property. OK, now I'd like to go on to talk about safety on holiday. You probably know that when you're on holiday abroad, you're in much more danger of being robbed. This is because you probably don't know the country very well. For example, you might not realise that you're in a dangerous area. One of the things you can do to protect yourself is to keep your passport and money in the safe in the hotel. You can always go back and get them if you need them. Another thing you can do is take an old mobile with you on holiday. These new smartphones are very popular with thieves all over the world. It's safer just to take an old one. Track 47 Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer and I work for Campus Security. Welcome to this very short talk about emergency phone numbers. To start with, you need to know that emergency numbers aren't the same in every country. As we're in Britain at the moment, it's important to know that the emergency number is 999. So you'll need to remember this. Those of you who've been to the United States will know that the emergency number is 911, slightly different. But in Australia, the emergency number is completely different. It's 000. In Germany, the emergency number is the same as the rest of Europe. That's 112. And in case anyone's thinking of going on holiday to India this summer, it's useful to know that the emergency number there is 100. Track 48 Good morning. I'm here today to give you a few tips about security on campus. We're not just here to prevent crime, but to make sure you're safe 24 hours a day. One of the services we provide for students who live on campus is to walk home with you if you need to cross the campus late at night. I mean, we all know the halls of residence are quite a long way from the library, don't we? So, for example, if you've been studying in the library till late and you're nervous about going home alone, all you have to do is ring campus security on 3333 and we'll send someone to make sure you're safe, OK? By the way, another important thing to remember is the campus emergency number. Uh, we all know the national emergency number in the UK is 999, but when you're on campus and there's an emergency, you should call 3333. If you call 3333, you'll get through to our own staff right here on campus. They can react quickly and get to you faster than national services. Track 49 Good evening, everyone. It's great to be here to talk to you about staying safe on holiday. Before I came this evening, I did a little research on where students like to go for their holidays and came up with two different regions. 
Latin America, and India. So,、um, I've been looking at the crime figures for both areas, and I thought I'd start by talking a bit about that. Then I'll give you some advice about how to avoid becoming a victim of crime. Okay, first of all, let's look at what kinds of crime are committed most in different regions. Um, okay, I'll start with India. Generally, India isn't thought of as a dangerous place for individuals, but there has been an increase in handbag theft in recent years. So keep an eye on your bag when you're out in the street. Right now, let's look at Latin America.、Mm. Of course, you do realise that not all Latin American countries are the same. But it is true to say that guns are used in a high percentage of crimes across the region. Looking at the figures, it seems that gun crime is a serious problem throughout. Track fifty. Listen. I can see some of you are thinking that it all sounds rather dangerous, but I know lots of people who've been there and had a really great time. They followed advice from the authorities, like making sure they didn't wear expensive jewellery in the street. And I'd certainly advise anyone travelling to Latin America to do the same. Another thing you should be careful of is not to go to lonely places at night. But of course, that's the same anywhere. But I must say, you do have to be very careful in some parts of Latin America when you take your money out of a cash machine. Sometimes you find that thieves stand very close to people at cash machines and take their money as it comes out. Track fifty one. Okay, so now I'll finish by talking a little bit about India. I've actually been to India, and I didn't have any feeling that it was dangerous at all. First of all, I went on an organised tour with a group of people. This is definitely the best way to go because it's so much safer. I mean, I didn't go anywhere without the group, and we had a tour guide who spoke the local language and knew the area. In fact, I remember now, she warned us not to go off with strangers, even if they seem nice and friendly. But again, you wouldn't do that at home either, would you?